Like in InDesign, you can check your document for printing mistakes. To do this, go to Windows, Pre-Flight Verifier. I see there are five warnings. I click on the first one. Here I placed a PDF. This is not a problem. Scribus will rasterize the PDF when I export for print, and it will be printed correctly. Let's click on the second warning. Here we have a missing image. I think I may have moved this image to another location on my computer, after I placed it in Scribus. This is why Scribus can't find it. Also, when you rename an image, or rename, the folder the image is in, Scribus, like InDesign, can't find the image anymore. Let's right-click on the image frame, to see the name of the image that is missing. It's an image of Albert Einstein. Let's see, what folder it was originally in, when I placed it. I go to Extras, Manage Images. I think, I may have dragged the image outside the images folder. I click on Search, and look one level higher. I indeed placed the image outside the folder. So I will select it again, and close the window. The advantage of using Manage Images, is that it remembers the scaling, and cropping, I did on the image. Those adjustments would be lost, if I would place the image again with the regular Get Image command. I click on the next warning. This image, has a very low resolution. I could replace this image. But because the details are still recognizable, and it's a relative small image, I will let it pass. The next warning is Text Overflow, also called Overset Text. I see, the last sentence has been cut off. I will drag the text frame down, and reveal the text. I will place this last sentence higher, to create more white space. I click on the last warning. This image is not on a page. It's on the so-called pasteboard, which is a non-printable area, used to store images. I can leave it here, but I will remove it. I click on check again. I solved three, and accepted two warnings.